The shooter in Tucson, as the Attorney General of Arizona knows, had 10 rounds in his mag- had he had 10 rounds in his magazine instead of 30, the little girl who is a granddaughter of a famous Delawarean named Dallas Green, who I looked up to playing baseball in Delaware, she'd be alive probably. This year, 12,000 people will get killed with handguns. 19,000 people will commit suicide with handguns. People of this country overwhelmingly, 80, 90 percent when you do the polling, uh, will say we want sensible gun laws. Well, that was crazy Uncle Joe Biden and America's nanny, Michael Bloomberg, taking to the bully pulpit today to sell their lies about guns in America. Now, while the pair was busy making up facts, Senator Lindsey Graham got into a heated exchange during an assault weapons ban hearing and asked perhaps the most important question about needing, quote, stricter gun laws. Why aren't we prosecuting people who fail a background check? And there are 15 questions there. They're not hard to understand if you're filling out the form. So I'm a bit frustrated that we say one thing, how important it is, but in the real world, we absolutely do nothing to enforce the laws on the books. Now, let's talk... Uh, I mean, you know, just for the record, from my point of view, Senator, the purpose how of the background check... How many cases check, have you made? How many cases... Uh, you no, know yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a paper thing. Well, I, want okay. to st- I want to stop I 76... I want to wait, finish wait, the wait, answer. Wait, wait. Well, no, I'm at, I want to stop 76,000 people from buying guns illegally. That's what a background check I'm does. If you think we're going to do paperwork it. prosecutions, she you're, you're wrong. I guess the point is, if we don't want the wrong people to own guns, which we all agree then the one way to do that is to take the system that's supposed to distinguish between the person who should and shouldn't and enforce it. Pretty good question, Senator Graham. Here with reaction from the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow, Democratic strategist Penny Lee. Um, Jay, what part of shall not be infringed don't they understand? It seems that uh, that seems to be in question these days. You know, I think Senator Graham was right on. I mean, the fact of the matter is, and we look at it three ways, Sean. You've got the you got Mayor Bloomberg uh, with the vice president making these outrageous statements. When you realize this, that Connecticut, where we had the tragedy at Sandy Hook, D.C., the District of Columbia, and Chicago, who have the, th- those three areas have some of the toughest gun laws, if not the toughest gun laws, uh, in the United States. Yet their crime rates are through the roof. So the fact of the matter is, none of these laws do anything to stop criminals from getting guns and that's the reality here and you know all of this attempt to nullify the second amendment through hyperbole which is what's going on right now uh, i believe without a doubt would ultimately be rejected by the supreme court who said just a few years ago in the heller case that the right to bear arms the second amendment right is in fact an individual right and you got to look at it the same way you looked at the first amendment you can't have uh restrictions on it that would violate that right and so far what's being proposed does nothing and the reality is and, and sean i think this is the most serious aspect of it this is hyperbole no one will deal with the real problem is that those people that have guns that should not the lack of prosecutions i mean you know why he wouldn't answer the Paper prosecution, by the way, if you file a false statement to the federal government to be on illegal. your tax returns, you go to jail. Go to jail. So they could absolutely do this right, if they me, wanted let to. Me, they don't. Let me play for you, Diane Feinstein, Penny, and uh, I think I have some changes to the Constitution I want to make after this. Watch this. America has to step up. The mothers, the women, the men of America have to make a decision as to whether their personal pleasure is more important than the general welfare. Grievance killers look for these weapons. These weapons are easy to obtain. There are no background checks. You can buy them out of the back of a car uh, at a gun show. Um, America's laws are virtually non-existent. We have plenty of laws on the books, and this is the point that Senator Graham was making, Penny. We don't enforce the laws we have on immigration, on gun laws, on background. We don't enforce the ones we have. We have plenty of laws on the books. Oh, well, and I agree with you to the, to the certain extent. I mean, right now, I'm terribly disappointed in the Obama administration that right now they have only prosecuted one percent of the cases right now that that are that are there that are falsifying on your background check. Only one percent. So I do believe that there are laws on the books that need to be strengthened and actually need to be enforced. Well, why do they need to be need strengthened? To if we haven't this, tried enforcing the ones need, that are there. Certain things like like the state of Pennsylvania or the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania did a great thing. The Attorney General, first Democrat, first woman, she actually did did something that that hadn't been done yet before which was you had people that were able to get uh, 
carry laws uh, that, that weren't able to be able to pass in Pennsylvania, but yet they could mail order that right and get that, that right in from Florida, and she is stopping that. She is stopping that flow of concealed yeah, carry weapons, concealed carries. So let me, let those me are the kind of Jay. laws, those are the kind of laws that need to point. be enforced. Penny is making a point. We don't prosecute the, 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 the laws that we have, same on immigration. Why, you need, why do we need a so, new so immigration law we don't, you know, abide by the current one? Sean, this is, if you look at it, whether it's in the context of immigration, if you look at Fast and Furious, if you look at, I can give you a list of, of areas where the government lack of prosecution or monitoring itself. I mean, they're worrying about gun restrictions when they were running guns to drug cartels in Mexico. So, so go figure that one out. But, Sean, when you've got prosecutors saying we're not going after after paper crimes. If someone falsifies a statement, whether, as I said, a tax return, a subpoena, I could give you a list on that also, there are prosecutions and lots of them that take place. So if the IRS can prosecute on false tax returns, then they certainly could do the same thing on a All gun right. permit if, in fact, there's been false information provided. But that prosecutors are roll. telling you this, they're not doing it. It's a paper crime. Well, paper crimes have real penalties, including five years in prison, if they would enforce the laws. The fact right. of the matter is the administration is not going to. This is roll. not Nothing but politics, pure and simple. That's Guys, it. Thanks for being with us. Penny, you made sense tonight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Coming